Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about how to increase your FPS in Stranova. However, there are certain criteria. You do need to use an NVIDIA graphics card because they did introduce DLSS, which is the upscaling technology, which you can now use in Stranova. So the very first thing I want to go over is how do you actually enable the FPS counter or the frames per second counter. In order to activate that, you simply go to your settings, go under screen, go to the very bottom, and under data, there is frame rate. You simply just need to enable this, and then you will get that FPS counter. So you can see over here that I play the game at 1440p, I cap my FPS at 180 FPS, and I have the overall graphics quality on very high. Now, the graphics card that I'm using is a 4070, so it is a mid-range card, a little bit overkill for Stranova, but nevertheless, as you can see, I do get pretty solid 180 FPS. The thing is, when we're in an actual fight, my FPS does dip up and down quite a lot, and it usually results me in getting killed, as I can't aim when my FPS drops down to like 60 or 50 or something, and it's just a real pain in the butt. So in order to fix that, what I like to do is I like to play on everything low. So as you can see, when we do everything on the lowest setting, it's still at 180 FPS. The reason for this is because I've actually capped my FPS at 180 as my monitor's refresh rate is 180. However, if you don't care about that, you can drag this to 480, click apply, and now you can see I have 350 FPS, right? It boosts it significantly, but I don't like to do that. I like to keep mine at 180 because that's my refresh rate. Now, another thing that will also uncap the maximum frame rate is actually NVIDIA Reflex. As we can see on the top right, when we enable NVIDIA Reflex, it reduces the system lag and boosts PC's responsiveness, which is really good, right? So we can enable that, we apply, and again, it's going to uncap my FPS. It goes all the way to, you know, 350 FPS, which is pretty nice. The thing about this, though, is you're going to get a lot of fluctuation. Like, my FPS goes from 250 to 350 literally 100 frames per second variation but having my frame rate going up and down like that just really bothers me so that is why i turn off nvidia reflex and then i cap my fps however you're not here for all of that you're here for dlss so where on earth is dlss it's actually hidden behind anti-aliasing. I have no idea why it's here, but by default it is off. And even if you use the ultra overall graphics setting, it actually puts your anti-aliasing on TAA. What I realized only recently is there's another option, literally DLSS. So you turn on DLSS and then you get DLSS quality over here. Now the thing is these are named wrong. So DLAA is correct. However, this is not actually performance mode. This is actually quality mode. Balance is balance. And quality over here is actually performance mode. I have no idea how they messed up these translations, but it is what it is. So as you can see right here, we're going to go under quality mode, even though this is performance mode. And just take a look at Chio's hair. Chio's hair and her ribbon, super ultra pixelated because this is performance mode. Now, as you can see, my FPS is still 179 because I do not have it uncapped. We're going to enable NVIDIA Reflex and wabam, we are now at the 300 to uh, 350 range. All right. However, this game looks absolutely awful right now. Everything looks super pixelated. Even the target over here looks super ugly. Uh, my, my eyes are bleeding. However, if frames per second is the only thing you care about and you really don't care about how ass the game looks like, then uh, yeah, you can do this, but Jesus Christ, look, look at this target. It looks absolutely awful aiming at long range targets. So this is performance mode. Let's bump it up to balance mode. Uh, still looks pretty awful. It looks slightly better, I guess, but it's still really, really bad. And then finally, let's bump it up to performance mode but this is actually quality mode apply you can see chio's hair looks much better now and uh the target over here does look a lot better you see close targets look super clean far targets eh, it's okay ish now my personal favorite is of course dlaa dlaa will sacrifice a little bit of frames so you will get less fps however the game will look significantly better so now i apply this and you can see everything looks super duper sharp however my fps does drop significantly you can see we're at like 240 instead of like 350 so um yeah you do take a 
pretty big hit on performance, but the game looks so much nicer. Now to counteract this, what I like to do is actually I keep all of this on, but I actually lower all of the settings. So what we were on, we were on ultra settings before. I turn everything down to low and then I turn on DLSS and then I leave it on DLAA and then we turn on NVIDIA Reflex. And now we're going to save this. And as you can see, we are back at the 300 FPS range. Everything still looks super, super clean. Everything looks super detailed. It's not quite as good as ultra settings, especially on long range targets. But, uh, you know, you're getting 300 plus FPS, which is significantly better. So if you are using an NVIDIA card, please make sure to enable DLSS. This will help you significantly gain more FPS. And then, of course, under DLSS quality, it's very important to understand that these translations are wrong. This is performance on the far left and then it's balanced and then performance is actually quality and then DLAA is the highest quality one. All right. Now, of course, you can mess around with all these settings over here. Like, let's say that you want to put things on like high on the texture quality and maybe like on the models, you know, you want your models to look good. You can keep this on high as well and apply. And you can see here the FPS does drop a little bit, but overall, it's still pretty good. We're still in the 300 range, which is really nice. But again, for me, because of placebo effects, I like to keep NVIDIA reflex off because I just want a stable constant 24 7 180 fps and we save that and now you can see that i have 180 fps regardless of what i do over here we can just shoot a bunch we can use our alt and it's always going to be 180 fps which is very very beautiful regardless of what's going on on my screen special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.